Hello, this is Retail How. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make aging item list. Suppose you already had the inventory list, as the one you saw here. If you do not have one yet, you can get it by export from the POS system, or you create by your own. If you already had one, let's get started. First, you need to create the table for the data. To do so, you need to select all of the data. Then press Ctrl T, or Command T for MacBook. Then click OK. Now you get the table for the inventory list. Next you need to create the table name for later use. To create, just type any name in the text box. Then hit enter. Now you need a new sheet for aging item list. To do so, first select some data from the table. Then copy them. Next, click on the new sheet button. Then paste in the sheet. To get nice table, you need to resize the cells. To do so, simply just select the columns. Then drag them to the right. Click on the small arrow at the top left corner. Then double click on the line row. And double click on the line column. After you got a nice table, next you need to add some more columns to the table. To do so, just type the header name in the cell. See the video. After you finish adding the header, select all the data, then click on Ctrl T or Command T and click OK to create the table. On column UPC, you need to change to the text format to avoid getting error when adding the data. Next, you need to delete some data from the table. Just select the data, then hit delete. In the first row of the description column, you need to add the function into the cell. The function that will be used is the VLOOKUP function. The lookup value in here is the UPC number. The table array is the inventory list table. The column index number is the column number of the inventory list table. The range lookup option, choose false, to get exact match of the UPC number. After you add the function, the value of the description that relate to the UPC will show up. To get rid of the NA error, you need to add the IF function to the VLOOKUP function. The IF function is used to avoid the NA error when there is no value in the UPC column. In the column department and the column cost, you need to add the same VLOOKUP function. To add the function, simply just copy the function from column description and paste in the column department. But you need to change the column index number. In the column cost, just do the same as column department and change the column index number. In the column quantity, no function needed. Use it only when adding the data. In the column total cost, the formula that will be used is equal to the quantity time the cost. In the column expiry date, just change the format to date format. In the column day remaining, the formula that will be used is equal to expiry date minus today date. Then you need to change the format to general. To get rid of the minus number, show in the list. When there is no value in the column expiry date, you need to add the if function. In the column day remaining, you need to add conditional formatting to the cell. To add, click on conditional formatting, then choose the rule. The conditional formatting rule that you are using now is, if the value is less than zero, color the cell red.
If the value is equals to zero, color the cell green. If the value is between 1 and 15, color the cell yellow. The conditional formatting allows you to automatically apply formatting, such as colors, to one or more cells based on the cell value. If you want to clear the conditional formatting rule, simply just select the cell, then click on conditional formatting. On clear rules, choose option that you want. Next, you need to name the column day remaining table for later use. To make it easier to see how many items already expired and how many will expire soon, you need to add more counting box on top of the table. In this counting box, you will use COUNTIF function to count the data from the table. The range is the day remaining table. Earlier, you already named the day remaining table, so now, just type the name that you already created. The criteria is less than zero. Now that you see, two items are less than zero with the red color. To count how many items expired today, do the same as the already expired box, but you need to change criteria. The criteria for the expired today is zero. One item expired today with the green color. For the expire soon, is slightly different from those two. This one, you use the count if function, but with the S. The criteria range 1, is the day remaining table, use the same as range. And the criteria 1, is less than 16. The criteria range 2, is the same as the criteria range 1. But the criteria 2, is greater than 0. As you can see in the list, there is only one items, is between 1 and 15. In the sheet name, you might need to change it, this name you can use month or week as you want. Now you need to delete the data, before using the table. Remember, do not delete the columns that contain the function and the formula. Now it is time, to start adding items to the list. But you might need to use the barcode scanner, to scan the items. If you do not have the barcode scanner to use, you can just type the UPC number into the cells. In the column quantity, add how many items, with the same expiry date. When the items have been added, the count box, automatically updated. In the column status note, you can add any note you want. To use the table list, in the other sheet, with different month, or week, simply just copy and paste. If you want to use the table, in the new sheet, you need to delete the old data, but remember, do not delete the function or formula in the cell. After done, don't forget to save the file, but make sure you save it along the way. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to get more video.